Hello and welcome back to another video. So in this lesson, we'll learn how to use PubMed to search for academic articles. Yeah, first, we'll go to Google and look for, and type in PubMed. That is the link. Click on this one and you'll come to the home page of PubMed. Okay, now this is where you enter the keywords for your research. Okay, I'm doing a research on low back pain. So I'm going to type here low back. Press enter. And this is the main screen of PubMed. Okay, so let's see how the screen is organized. So this is where you enter your keywords. That's your search button. If you come down over here, you have the save, email, and send to. We'll come to this. Come down over here, and these are the results that it has got from the database. Okay, so you have 49,207 results. Okay, and if you come and scroll to the right, you can see the navigation buttons. Okay, and the pages. So in total, you have 4,921 pages. And next to that, you have your navigation buttons. You can go to, go to the next page by clicking this one. And the previous one, if you want to go to the previous page, click on this button over here. If you want to go to the last page, use that button. And to the first page, this button over here. Okay. Now, now since this is a huge uh, this since this is a lot of results we cannot go through each of each one of them so what you need to do is we need to apply something called filters and the filters you see you will see them on the left side okay now before we go to that let's see how the the information is organized over here so right on top you will have the research title okay so my research title is low back pain the research title of the research paper okay right below that you have the names of the authors who have participated or who have done this research below that it will show you where the research has been published in which journal usually it's a journal or a book and it will tell you the dates issue and volume number and what pages it was printed on okay if you want to know a little more about the journal about this research topic you will have to click on this link and it will take you further inside and it will give you some more details. For example, over here, if you want to go to the to the home page of this journal or you want to go to the journal, you can click on this one and you can either search PubMed or you can add it, add it to, your C, to your search or search in NLM catalog. We'll not be bothered too much about this. Let's come down over here. Again, you have your research topic. Below that, again, you have your your authors and if you again this is a link if you want to go and see more research by and done by this author you click on this one and it will bring you to a page where this author has been mentioned several times on whatever research he has done or she has done let's go back okay you see these superscript numbers one two three four and five now this is basically where the research was done or the association of this author with this organization so if we expand this one and this will tell you where does each each author work okay okay if you come further down most of the time you will have an abstract associated with your research what is an abstract abstract is a summary of your research article and this is beneficial you basically read your read the abstract and see if this is useful for your research okay let's go back okay let's go to the second one okay we'll go to the second one again that low back okay let's go to the third one click on this one and again same concept it's exactly the same affiliation you can open this up and this is the abstract if you look if you click on the right side what you can do is if you like that research paper you want to have the citation for this what you can do is click on cite and you can either copy it or you can say no change the format let's say I want it as an APA format and then you can copy it and you can start EndNote also you can start notepad and start pasting your your references okay so let me close this let me go back 
Okay, let's have a look at filters now. Now this is if you want this on the top is if you want to filter according to the year of your of the publication. Okay, and we'll come back to this. Text availability is now all of these research that are that you see on the screen. Uh, not all of them have an abstract. Let's say I'm only interested in the ones that do have an abstract. So I'm going to click on this one. Okay, and as you apply the filter you will notice that the the amount of results will become less and less and that's the idea you try to get the, get the results to around 100 or less than 100 which will be easier for you to work with okay so the idea is always to enter your keywords whatever results you get you enter or you apply the filters and gradually as you apply the filters the amount of results will reduce and it will become more focused okay so abstract and these are the results I get and I am interested in the research done in the last five years and there you go still 13,000 which is a lot let me go further down and there are some additional filters which are not showing over here you click on additional filters and let's say I'm interested in species human and language I'm only interested in English okay age if you want you can you know just turn these on and show and now my filter is being shown I'm interested in humans and in the research done in the English language and it has 8,000 results okay so what you can also do is if you want as you're doing your searches you can also come right on top and add some more keywords let's say I'm interested in the Kuwait keyword okay enter that keyword click on search again and now you have just five results so what do you do with these results okay I have five results so what you can do is you can either save it or you can email it to yourself okay or you can send it to uh, you can send it to the clipboard or to my bibliography or to a collection or citation manager okay let's say how do you save it so before you save you first select whichever you want to save to your desktop or to your computer okay let's say I've selected four of these and I want to save it click on save it'll ask you um, what is it that you want to save currently I've selected uh, four that's what's showing me over here as for selection what you can also do is you can change that you can say I want all the results okay or you can say all the results on this page but in this case I just want these four results which I've selected and then it'll ask you the format what format do you want to save it in let's see what options I have I want to save the abstract as well okay so I click on this one and I'll say create file as soon as you create file it'll it'll show you a security button and show you that it has saved the file over here now what you can do is you can either open the file and see how it looks or open the folder where it has saved the file or if you want to go if you want to know exactly where it has been saved you can go if you're using Windows click on the search box and click on the file explorer and go into the downloads folder and that is where your file is okay let's close these we don't need these okay okay so that's my file let me open this file and again it'll show you the first one and all the details along with the abstract that's my second one all the information is there along with the abstract so that is what I was looking for I'll just close this close this and come back over here so what you can also do is email it to your account or email it to anyone that you want let's say I want to email it I'll just say email at that's not my email just a fictitious one that I'm using for the purpose of this exercise again selection again it'll ask you what style you want I'll say I want it as an abstract text format 
I'm not a robot. And bicycles. I'll say next. Uh oh, I didn't pass that test. Okay, and click on send email. And it'll give you a message saying that your email has been sent. Okay. It'll usually it usually takes about about a minute to get to your email, so you don't have to check it right now. Just you know, after a minute or so, you can go ahead and check your email. Okay. Now let's say I'm done with my research or or searching the literature. What I want to do now is I want to do a new one. So as you do a new one, what you need to do is you need to clear all your filters, reset all your filters, and of course you need to clear this up. Just say X and you can start a new one. And what we'll do in this one is we'll apply the filters and we'll try to save a PDF file or a complete research. Okay, so let's say I'm interested in diabetes. Click on search and I get a whole bunch of results, which is 616,000 results, okay, which is a lot, okay. Now, I'm only interested in the results that have a full text um, article associated with it. What is a full text article? A full text article will show you, uh, let me see if I have a full text article. Let's say this one over here. This is a full text article. I mean, it'll show you basically uh, the complete article, the way it was published in a journal. Okay, so of course, besides having the name, it will also have you know all the details, the way, exactly the way it was published. Okay, so you can have a look. You can read this article, and you know, use any information from here. For example, it has some tables, how the research methodology was, how the data collection was done. Um, what was the hypothesis, you know, and most importantly, you can have a look at what references or which research papers they used in their research. Okay, so that is what it is. So most of the time, that this is what you're interested in. You want to see how they have done the research and you basically take that and you apply it to your own environment. Okay, let me go back. Okay, there it is. Okay, so so now what I want to do is I'm only interested in free full text. So you basically have articles or research papers with abstracts, some are without abstracts. So in this case, I'm only interested in the ones that have a free full text associated with them. So I'll click on free full text. Okay, that is again a lot. And let's say I'm only interested in not five years. Let me go and select a custom range so i'm interested in 20 20 to 20 24 let me change that 2015 oops 2015 i'll say apply and i'm interested in humans English okay do not remove the old filters okay leave the old filters as it is okay and let's say I'm interested in children okay and of course I need another keyword over here as Kuwait let's say I'm doing a research uh, on diabetes on among Kuwaiti children or children in Kuwait Okay, so that is more manageable. I just have 42 results. So what I can do is I need to save the research paper. So what I can do is I go, I can go inside and on the right side, you will see a full text link. Okay, click on this link. It will open a new window, a new tab in your browser. And you can either download the full issue and say accept. All I can do, okay, just give me a minute, okay. Save it as a PDF. Again, that's the complete article, okay. 
and I'll click on the save button click on save give it a logical name I'll just call it diabetes paper okay, now that has been saved it has been saved so I can just close this I don't need this anymore so if you want to save another research paper you need to go back go to your other paper for example this one over here and this time I have two links again you can select any one that you like and then you look for a PDF and that's a PDF click on PDF and of course I can click on save and I can say diabetes paper 2 and I don't need this anymore I'm just going to close this I'm going to close this and I'm going to say go back so that is if you want to do if you want to save a third one apply the same process okay what I also want to do is I want to save this one and this one and send it as an email okay so again I can just send it as an email at from I can say same one as a summary text send email and I get that message and you can check your email after a while and that's it hope this was useful and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching